Happy Pearl go Friday. Ahead, go okay. ahead with your next guest. All right. <laughs> next guest is a comedian, actress, and author. You can also catch her every weekday right here on Fox 5 as one of the co-hosts of the Emmy Award-winning daytime talk show, The Real. We're talking about the one and only Lonnie Love. All right, tomorrow, she's hosting the inaugural Salute Them Awards, which is being held virtually, by the way. And this morning, she joins us to talk all about that event and her other projects as well. Hey, Lonnie, how you doing? Hey! <laughs> you, you, you look so happy today. You're always happy, though. I got to give you props on that. It's good to be living, you know. Um, but, but before we started, this is a solemn day as well. Yes. I just want to say condolences to everyone affected by 9-11, yes. all the family members. We will never forget. Right. right. We will never, we'll never forget. forget. Never forget. You're right, Lonnie. So uh, let's switch gears, though, and talk about uh, some, some things that you're working on. The first thing, Cafe Mocha presents its first ever virtual salute them awards. Tell us about that. You know, I'm so excited about this wisdom. It's presented by my radio show, Cafe Mocha Radio. It plays out there in D.C., um, W-H-U-R. What up, W-H-U-R? But this is the first of its kind where we are honoring men and women in the community as well as um, national guests. So people like Marla Gibbs, the great Marla Gibbs. We have performances by Tamla Mann, um, uh, Anthony Hamilton. And it's just a way for us to give back. And it's presented by Cafe Mocha Radio. Radio, Toyota and AARP. It happens tomorrow, 7 p.m. Go to salutethemawards.org to just stream it. And it's free. Just have a good time. You can watch it with your kids. I don't cuss that much on it. So it's good. It's all good. Yeah, that, you don't cuss that much on it. OK, as long as there's a delay, you'll, you'll be OK. You know, they give you a second, sec seven, seven second, second delay. All right. Uh, what's it like pivoting uh, this year to a virtual world? I mean, I know you're you're an entertainer. You're on television. You do a lot of different things. But now everything has to be virtual. What is it like dealing with this new world in this new environment? Wisdom. My house has turned into a studio. I mean, it's literally I have lights everywhere. I have a monitor, um, but it's a blessing because we still need to entertain people. We need to give some type of escape for people. And so, you know, if we have to do it in our homes, hey, if I got to look like, you know, I'm out in the field, this is what I'm going to do to entertain the people. It's an adjustment, but it's, you got to remember it's temporary and then we'll go back into studios. But for right now, it's just safer for everybody to stay, you know, in their own home. So so I feel good about it. Right. And you're also you, you get more work because you're you're Bridezilla's. <laughs> yeah. Bridezilla's is a wonderful show um, for 12 seasons. It's been running on we and um, they decided to do something different this season. They wanted a new narrator. So I am now the narrator of Bridezilla's because it was hit right before the pandemic. Like we had taped all of the brides. We have 11 wonderful women that um, they have drama, but they also have a lot of love and we want to celebrate that. But I actually had to set up the studio in my closet and I did all all of the joke writing, I did all of the narrations um, right from my computer uh, in my closet as a sound studio. So it premieres next Thursday, the 24th at 10 p.m. on We. Um, I just think if you want to escape, if you want to see crazy brides, if you want to laugh at love, and there's some heartfelt moments as well, mm -hmm. then Bridezilla's is going to be the place to be. 10 p.m. on We. All right, and, you're and not that you have, you don't have enough on your plate, but the talk show. What, what are we doing with the talk show now? The talk show, The Real, is coming back. Two of our co-hosts have left. So we have a fabulous new co-host that will be introduced on the 21st, Ms. Garcelle Beauvais. And I'm so happy. Um, you know her from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But she is also joining us at the table. She's a wonderful girl. She is, people don't know this about Garcelle. She's um, an immigrant. She's Jamaican. And um, we just love her. And we think that she fits right in. Jeannie and Adrian are coming back. Shout out to Jeannie, who's going to be on Dancing with the Stars on the 14th. I'm plugging everybody. Yep. You know, my girl Adrian got a show on Fox that's coming out too with Ken Jong. I'm, I'm just plugging everything, um, Wisdom. So, but we are coming back the real. We want to thank Fox and DC because you guys have stuck with us. It's going to be a wonderful season seven. All right. Well, Lonnie Love, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Hey, and the next time, next time we talk, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to plug me. Plug me into something, all right? You, you Angie Goff wants you to plug her, too. Yeah. yeah. Hook us up. That's all I'm talking about.
Lonnie Love, Love. ladies and gentlemen. Follow me on Twitter. (laughs) Take care, Lonnie.